final leg. So, of course, everyone's probably heard the news that NCAA championships were unfortunately canceled just the day before they were about to go down. Not only the indoor championships, but also the outdoor championships. The NCAA canceled all the rest of winter and all of spring sports continuing for the rest of the year. So, no more NCAAs for the rest of the year. And not only NCAAs, but this has a lot of implications. Of course, we know that the Olympics, those are potentially, they say that they're still going on, maybe canceled, delayed, not really sure, but think about the pro athletes who are going to be competing through the spring now. NCAAs is canceled. A lot of schools already canceled their spring sports, so they're not going to have any track and field meets or competitions. Think of like Florida Relays, Drake Relays, Texas Relays, Stanford Invitational, all these meets that a lot of pro athletes compete at and they get qualifying times at, they're not going to be able to do that anymore. Of course, we know people in general, athletes, they can't travel to different meets. Europe, you know, Italy's on lockdown. You have all these countries that are not going to be able to have host these meets for athletes to compete at. So a lot of implications for the rest of the spring. It's looking kind of negative for what's going to be happening with this outdoor season. It's still only March, so we still have time for things to turn around, you know, the situation to hopefully get better. But unfortunately, it's not looking as positive. So not really sure what's going to be happening. We're going to see, you know, athletes. Of course, NCAA athletes not going to be able to compete. They essentially have no more season. If and let's say there's some schools that do have allow sports and allow like them to hope meets. If there's no NCAA championships, then what are you competing for? You know, it's really, really tough. You got to think of like athletes who are seniors. Not only do they miss this NCAA championships indoors, now their spring season is gone and now they're going to graduate potentially and not have a senior season when they may be in the best shape of their life. You gotta think of athletes like on the pro circuit who are towards the end of their career or in their prime of their career, now they're gonna be missing out potentially on an entire outdoor season. You know, someone like Allison Felix, who this would have been her final Olympics, if she doesn't have the chance to compete at this Olympics, then, you know, that's kind of like the end of it. On You know, we wouldn't wanna see that. Allison Felix, Justin Gatlin, a whole bunch of athletes, you know, a lot of athletes who are in their prime. Think of like Christian Coleman, Think of Noah Lyles coming off great seasons. This may be a big year. Michael Norman may be good for him. He gets maybe a year to rest, but a lot of implications just around across the board for the sport right now. Definitely though, gonna keep bringing the content for you guys. Of course, can't bring week to week content on results like I usually do, but definitely gonna have some content still coming out, hopefully on a week to week basis. So keep tuning in. We're gonna see what happens. Outdoor season's not done yet. Not really sure. Pros might still compete, but NCAAs looks like it's done for the outdoor season so fortunately that won't be happening but let me know what you guys think what do you think about the decision to cancel NCAAs not only indoors but also outdoors all the way later in June do you think they should cancel the Olympics do you think they should still go on with the Olympics do you think what do you think let me know what you guys think leave it in the comments below we could talk about it and see what's gonna happen with the outdoor season make sure you guys keep tuning in though of course I'm like I said I'm gonna keep coming with the video so keep tuning in like this video subscribe to the channel we'll be back again in the next video thanks